All righty, Rue. On we, you're going to hit the road, Jack? Oh, I'm uh, rushing not... back to Karakoneg. I am I, oh, in... I wanted like, to do something before yeah, he even do left the room. You can say something in the end of that conversation. Yeah. Go for it, Lumex. Uh, Lumex going to turn around and walk towards, walk towards the conversation <laughs> to be like, now you want to leave. <laughs> When we were in trouble before, <laughs> you didn't want to leave. You wanted to save everybody. And now you want to. Why don't we finish this and then we'll leave? What happened to our friendly <laughs> robot? <laughs> He's mad. He's mad. He's a mad robot. Being chained to a wall. Wise counsel, Lumamac. But I've seen your ability to keep the rest safe. I'm not so sure for Karakonik. And I'll just kind of clasp him on the shoulder. One tiefling will save an entire village. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And I'll clasp him on the shoulder and say, I'll see you back at Karakonik. And I will... Like a bat out of hell back to Karakonig. All right. Uh, why don't you give me a survival like, check to see how you motorcycle go. out of the entrance of the <laughs> fortress? Use bat one out of the sleds, you idiot. Use you one of the sleds. Into the snow. <laughs> yeah, one of the sleds, of course. Can you give me a survival check, please? I am just trying right now. Did that go? Please tell me he gets lost. Uh, on we, as you are riding back, there oh, yeah. is a blizzard. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> uh, do you mind uh, muting? We're gonna kick you out while they finish this. Uh, oh, I can only flip. No mute. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell but you he, when he to come back. He can still hear okay? us. He he can still hear us, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. God All right. <laughs> you guys, what do you guys want to do? I'm going to uh, go back to the main room. And... Yeah, I think we can all go back to the main room. I have already angrily started stomping down the You did, not the that Blair already would have yeah, 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 yeah. Joanna is just like the most withered and sad because although Lumamex's comment wasn't directed at her, Lumamek is saying, like, now you want to stay. And she's just like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. at least, uh, I mean, at least that conversation was not in combat that me and you had. The one that me and on we had was in combat. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, no, but Joanna's just fucking eating her shame and sadness right now, so she's just gonna follow Lumamek back into the main room. Are they back in here yet? No, the main room is empty. Um, I'm gonna go to uh, the room that they that Trobus was in before, just to just check and see that he's not there. It's empty, yeah, it's picked clean. I'm going to I'm going to start heading towards this one. Sure. Me too. Uh the door this way is actually already open and you guys can see that there is light from the torches of Grigory and Ron who are currently exploring this one room where you cannot see where Trovis is from where you are standing. But you can see him on the map, so pretend you don't. <laughs> He's right there, Justin. Okay. Yeah, the men are just, sir. Uh, this room is like very small with just a few uh, um, slits in the window that they fired um, arrows out of at you guys. But otherwise, this room is just filled with a few boxes with nothing noticeable, notable inside. I'm going to keep moving with uh, uh, Luminek, if that's all right with you, Justin, even if it might be out of turn order. Like, no, I'm just there's, following. There's no, there's no turn order for exploration. Usually, if someone wants to say something, they can just raise their hand or do something. So you can move with Luminek, no problem. I'm going to turn to the guys I, and be like, did you find anything in here? Uh, this room's empty. From what we can tell, it's just a discarded supply room. Or they picked it clean and took stuff with them when they left. 
I'm gonna move I'm on gonna... to the next room. Yeah, keep going through. Uh, when you get in this room, you find Trovis looking down at the trap door. Uh, when he hears you approach, he turns. Uh, as he's turning, he's saying, This must lead to that outpost out. Oh, you aren't Ron or Grigory. Did you find anything in the other wing of the fortress? Only all of the dead spore people things. Spore that people? Attack us. Oh, that went missing from the town not that long ago. That's excellent to hear. We found the lantern, and the goats, and uh, the few other things that were stolen were in that chamber. So, as far as we can tell, everything stolen from Kerkonig is here. We, we also saw where they were sleeping. There were only rooms for maybe five total in this fortress. Mm. And um, I'm pretty sure we killed four of them. So, we, we also found some pearls, which I'm, we'll share with you. Um, Oh, no, no, the, the pearls, pearls are from the ones that were stolen. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and on, on we. We'll share them with them. you. Yeah, they're on on we. Yeah, we're on, on we. Has them hmm? uh, where are the pearls? Our on we has them. them on him. And he went out of here to go save Kerkonig. Save Kerkonig. He believed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I am going to see if this pathway does lead to the outpost. Why don't you guys check with Ron and Grigory if there's anything else that they need help with? You shouldn't go alone, Trovis. I'll would, join you. If you if you would like, yeah, I would I would like to see inside of that. Uh, he motions box. to Lumamac and says, "You can come with me." Uh, the two of you, it's just a small, little, expertly dug out tunnel that leads Ooh. to ah. a room, the little outpost. Sorry. That... I've been waiting for this reveal for two sessions. Yeah, right. Oh! <laughs> uh, it's just an empty uh, outpost with a small chair for sitting. Uh, and a few frozen, now frozen, dried rations. Uh, but otherwise, the room is empty. Uh, Trovis goes and looks at one of the slots and says, This is where they fired the arrows at you, huh? I guess so. Hmm. They fled. After they were done with you. Whatever they've done to you, I have no idea. And for that, friend, I am sorry. I can't offer any words of wisdom or hope for what happened. The only thing I can say is we have found a letter addressed to one of these Dwerger who is currently residing in East Haven. I will be taking it to the speaker personally myself. Did it, Isn't Trovis did it the speaker? say that they were fleeting? He's the speaker of that town. He's not the speaker of ten towns. The speaker of ten towns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other guy is uh, Dor Grub no. Dorble Gruff Shalescar. You know, each town has their own speaker. There's ten speakers. There is no then speaker you, then of who's ten Who's he towns. taking that to? He was. He's taking it to the speaker of East Haven. The one your guy. He was the speaker mm. of Bremen. Your your starting. Oh, town. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, um, no signs is... of if they fled, but. If what you say is true, where all of these spore people were slaughtered, did you kill them all while you were here? I do I do not remember killing that many. I remember killing a lot. Then it's very likely they not. killed their numbers, <clears throat> their stock, if you would, and fled. Where to, I don't know. But from what we can tell about this outpost, it's very close to the Dwarven Valley. It could have been a choke point, an attack point for there. It's unlikely this place was designed to attack Kerkonig. Especially over that frozen waste, blizzards can cause anyone who doesn't know their direction to just get lost. Kerkonig is the closest populated uh, town, so they were likely stealing from us. I don't know why, but I am going to pay your group for what you've done. 
You, my friend, will get the hero's price. Everyone else, the mercenary price. Uh, that's very kind. Uh, he slips you <clears throat> ten gold pieces in a pouch and says, I think we're done here. We can head back to Kerkonig. I eat them. <laughs> uh, <Trovis laughs> kind of pauses that and says, this place is killing us all, you know. Icewind Dale, the rhyme. We're all going to die. Even a machine like me. Uh, and then he steps into the tunnel and comes out the other side. He comes through and says, it's empty. This place has been abandoned. We have what we need. We're going to head back to Kerr Koenig. Excellent. Let's go. Perhaps we can catch up with our compatriot. Uh, as, he turning, the, as he's walking down the stairs, Trovis sir, turns and says, did he ever lead the way here or back? No. He's probably lost in the snow. <laughs> uh, Ron and Gregory <laughs> follow Trovis out. Uh, Let's they go. do wait for you guys. Uh, Gregory and Ron tie up the last of the goats, bring them with them. Um, they do wait for you guys. They don't leave without you with the dog sleds. They are waiting out here. You guys can do whatever you want. There's no time limit to leave. Lonzel goes leave. through the, the tunnel and starts shooting arrows at them as they leave. <laughs> <laughs> taking pot shots at them. Kill the dogs first. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> no. This is war, yeah. not... They will simply just uh, throw yeah. I don't I don't need to do anything in there. Whee! Joanna's like the last to leave, but Joanna leaves as well. All right. Uh, Gregory, Ron, and tra Travos. Tarvos? What's his fucking name? Travis. <laughs> oh, Bill. Travis. We know Travis. Yeah. Travis. Bill? Uh, they, at this point, have recalled the way, and they lead the, lead the way back. When you guys realize you're passing through a blizzard, he motions for everyone to stay close. He, uh, Trovis also offered a spot on his uh, sled to Lumimac because they did not bring one for him. Checks out. So, um, uh... I... Uh... uh, uh... Duca and Wee's probably somewhere. Uh, made his. Yeah, I'm not yes. saying anything to that. Yep. All right, yeah. <laughs> he made his can choice. I, can I make any sort of uh, like survival check or anything to like? Do I know if this? storm just rolled in like could he have missed it or are we like is he well and truly fucked um you can tell that your guys that you're not following your old tracks here so the blizzard happened after you arrived that's about as what you can tell great um can i do i mean it might not be worthwhile but if i may do a perception check to kind of just look for him. Obviously, there's no footprints or anything, but yeah, keep an eye out with him. Anybody else would like to assist as well. Because it's during a blizzard, there won't be assisting, but rather everyone will have to do their own. Yeah. Sure. So I'm what are we doing? Well. I froze. Perception. To I yeah, froze there. Me too. As you guys ride. Uh, but do you guys stay close to Trovis as he leads the way with and Gregory and Ron? Oh, yeah. I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you hear um, Trovis shout something. Uh, you guys can vaguely make it out. Something about a search party when we get back to Kerr Koenig. We Checks have... So at this. That is it. Is it yeah, cut out over the wind. 
After about uh, 45 minutes of dog sledding, you guys arrive back at Kerr Koenig, and it is perfectly fine and not on fire. <laughs> well, that's because Duke on Wii Save made it back five minutes exactly, sooner. Marshall. Duke on Wii saved the day. Classic five Duke minutes Wii. sooner. Five minutes. There was this. There was just this fire starting, and Duke on Wii was like, mm, mm, mm. and the and fire was, was like, oh. And then the but blizzard then... hit. Um, <laughs> when you guys get back to Kerr Koenig, uh, Trovis hops off his dog sled, shakes off the snow that's gathered on his winter gear, pulls the hood down, and motions uh, for one of you to come forth. I'll step forward. Okay. Uh, he offer. he gives you, uh, how many in the party? One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, he gives you 18 gold pieces and says this is payment for <clears throat> the materials. I know that Ennui has the pearls. I trust him to return it. He's a good man, just a dumb one. <laughs> True. I just got... True words. True words. Cheers to that. <laughs> Very fair. Thank you. When the blizzard dies down a little bit, I'll send the militia out to search for him. Once again, more than generous. It's not... I doubt he is dead. <laughs> I it believe he is too stubborn for such things. Far, far, yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> what would the party like to do? Get fucking wasted. Um, Joanna wants to take Trovis aside for a moment mm -hmm. and say, since things started going missing, has anyone gone missing? Have you lost anyone in the snows? No. So those spore creatures are probably not people from the town. No. As far as I can tell, no. Uh, no one has gone missing. I'm sorry that Ennui said the things he said to you. It doesn't bother me. I think me. he was... It well, And Joanna's going to laugh at that and say, well, it bothered you then. But, but, Trophus, I wanted to thank you for helping our friend and helping us get him back. I... This is my first time being in charge of anything, and I thought I had killed someone. Hmm. Thank you. And she's like blinking back Joanna, tears. It's to accept that your friends may die here. And also, I also suggest don't make decisions democratically. Follow your heart. You have a good one. Joanna is actually crying now, but she's trying to pretend like she's not, and she's gonna like shake Torvis's hand, but like just she's just pretending she's tough. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go return these items, and then by then, I'll gather the militia to go looking for Ennui. Thank you. Is it uh, stormy in Kirkonig or just outside? It's there's still some snow going around in here as well. Uh, um, I'm. Yep. No, go ahead. No, you go. I'm going to um, turn and walk up to Joanna and just kind of grab her hand and put the gold, eighteen golds, in her hand. Curl her fingers around it, pat her hand, and walk away. Joanna eats the gold. No, 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 no. Does anyone in the party want to do uh, something? You just want to kill some time. I would like to 
go to uh where did we come in did we come in at this uh like yes to yes. care to all path yep. um cold doesn't bother me i'm just gonna like the cold never bothered me anyway i was gonna sing that oh so pleased uh i'm just going to like not set up camp that's not the right word but like i'm gonna hang out okay. staring off into the storm for a while Cool. Waiting, hoping that on we come back, blah, 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 comes back. All right, James, can you hear me? Maybe. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. James so is actually. Have, he, his his camera is frozen on my end. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's frozen on ours. He did that on purpose. I think he turned it off to save his battery. All right. Text him. Messages. Oh, message the group. He was pretty quick on that. James. Return. I Can I just say, while we're waiting for James to return, I love Nocta's dynamic with people, where Nocta's just like, just don't leave me. And when people are like, they don't say anything, basically saying, I'm probably going to leave you. Nocta's just like, okay, let's just pretend we didn't have this talk. Okay, bye. <laughs> yep, all right, no, that's fair. Yep, cool. Yep. It was a Nocta's nutshell, or relationship in a nutshell, though. It's just like him being like, so this thing, and Sam was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> and then Nocta being like, hmm. Hello. All right, uh, you guys can listen to this one. It's okay. It's not as big as Mike's. Okay. Mike's, he needed to be alone. Um... Oh, I need a long time. My friend, you were riding for about um, 25 minutes when you realize that you are completely lost. You are off track. You don't know where you are. Oh, God. What, what would you like to do? <sighs> it's a blizzard. I can't see shit, hey? Mm hmm. And there's no city on fire in the horizon? Correct. No glow? Can I follow my tracks back, perhaps? Because they're more recent. Over. They're already erased. Let's press my luck a little further to try and find a It's 20 minutes. I can't be that off track. Sure, give me a survival check at disadvantage, please. Ooh. Time goes quick when you can't make sense of the world around you. When you live in a world of white, things just seconds pass before you even know they're passing. The wind howls around you. It's loud. Your very senses aren't making sense. What would you like to do? <sighs> There's a sense of urgency about me. I don't... Sorry, I realize I'm clacking. Um, I don't feel... I feel like I've maybe got one or two more pushes in me before I have to admit that I'm completely fucking lost. All right, give me another survival. But I do believe Kara Koenig's at danger, so... Sounds good. It's just totally lost. You can't tell anything. The dogs themselves are also panicking. Oh, well, if dogs are panicking, that's not good. We'll have to set up a camp. From deep within you, echoing through your mind, a voice speaks to you. No. And the voice says, the city burns. And you wish to save it. I can offer guidance. I can take you where you need to go. Otherwise, otherwise all those within Kerr Koenig will die. My friend, you are their only hope. 
150 people, children, burning if you don't do anything to intervene. Don't you want to save them? Is this my paranoia getting the better of me? I am not paranoia. I am as real as the snow that locks you here. Ennui. My friend, let me guide you. Friends know each other's names. Who be you, deity? My name is Levistus. I've heard your name. And I've heard of yours. Do you wish to die out here? I can help you be free. No man wishes to die cold, but... Every man also knows a deal with the devil is not a deal at all. I don't know how you found your way into my mind, Levistus, but be gone with you. I'll take my chances with the snow. Then you will die, and everyone in Kerkonig will burn. If that's your decision, if you can have those deaths weigh on your conscience as you freeze out here, alone, the dogs hungry, eat the flesh from your bone, <laughs> I don't think that's fair for anyone. Oh, Levistus, I knew putting off our invitation would be trouble. Oh, this has nothing to do with the invitation. You're not the one I want of your group. I'm just here to offer a helping hand. I see you're in danger. I see you're afraid. I see that you know without me, you and everyone in Kerkonig will die. Let me tell you, your Imp suspicion is correct. The Dwerger are moving on there now. They waited while you went inside, exactly as you thought. Impulsively, Henri's going to pop off some can trips to boom his voice, flare his wings, flare his eyes, and just, uh, in anger, just shout out, uh, Devils are not friendly, and devils do not make deals that benefit anyone but themselves. Leave me be, Lavistus. I meant to pay you a cordial visit and your followers. But your lives will not tarnish my mind. My quest is true. My path is true. And if it is mine to die out here, I'll do it of my own volition. I will not be saved by some devil's help. I'm brought into this world by the devil, but I'll die by my own. They're closing in on you. From the ship, they're coming. Don't. You need my help, Ennui. I don't. They're around here. I can sense them. They're searching. They're don't. close. Don't do it. I'm telling I'm you I won't fall truth. for it. You know it too. I'll you die know, before they take me again. You know the more that you search in ten towns and make a name for yourself as a hero, that they'd find you eventually. And Ennui, you're right. You won't die in the cold. You'll die in that cold ship. In that cage. Exactly where you started this. So I'll go. But first I'll tell them exactly where you are. I'll lead them to you. And then I'll lead them back to their ship. If you won't take my deal, that's fine by me. Uh, 
what's willpower in 5e? Wisdom. Is it or wisdom? Con. Saving, isn't it? No, constitution is physical willpower. Hmm. Wisdom is mental yeah. willpower. Groovy. Okay, well... Uh, I would rather the cold take me than, oh, a devil my soul. I'll cut the dogs loose and just start trekking back as much as I, like, the plan with cutting them loose is that they kind of know where they are, where need to go. So I'm going to try and follow their trail as much as I can back to Karakonig you lose and the dogs. outrun these. You lose the dogs immediately. Great. They win. I love it. That's right. fine. <laughs> We're going to end this session here uh, with Ennui Lost in the Blizzard. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, YouTube.